For the next episode of So Rare Made Easy, we're gonna look at the recent AMA and rather than going into it and reading you through it, I just wanna hit on the key parts um, that I consider where you can kind of gain an advantage on the rest of the user base because I really think that these AMAs where you get to speak to the creators, you get to speak to people that work at So Rare, they're where you get the gems of knowledge that you need. So, the first thing that I wanna draw attention to is that, you know, Nicholas, the CEO, outright said they're looking to introduce the European Conference League, right? Why is that important for me? I think there can be some big mismatches in those kind of games. And what that means is that you're gonna have walk over five nils, six nils, things like that. And those are the scores that, you know, you could just set one team and that can win. So when does it happen? It happens between the 16th to 25th of May, where obviously it's focusing on the group stages. That's when, you know, I would expect the walkover matches to be. So the 16th of September. So that's gonna be close to when the European cards come out. Um, if I had to have a guess, I'd probably say October, start of October is when the new season cards will be out. That's just a guess. They said they won't be available for the start. You know, the start is kind of mid-August, about the, about the 9th, 10th. But um, yeah, so what that means is that you're going to need last season's cards if you want to compete early. If you want to wait and get next season's cards for the bonuses, maybe you could take the second round fixtures on. Yeah, you know, I think that's a great idea. It depends on your budget, really. The more budget you have, the earlier you start. So um, digging down into that, I want to see what teams are in it. So, you know, I've already looked at this, thankfully. So, you know, straight into the playoffs, that's one game to get in, are Tottenham, Union Berlin, Roma and Ren. So, Immediately for me, you want Tottenham players. I know Tottenham aren't signed up, but you know, there might be a few gems. So I really looked into that. And you know, you only really have Hugo Lloris. I did mention in my last episode that you know, I was looking to get uh, Jules Kundia from Sevilla. And if they he becomes a lot more attractive, basically, if he does make the move and they have conference football, because then you've you've got midweek fixtures as well as the league fixtures, and you know, they're probably the best midweek fixtures you can get. In my opinion, obviously, Bayern Munich can, you know, eliminate some teams really quite easily in the uh, Champions League against Barcelona, Real Madrid. But, you know, they are priced in. Bayern Munich are by far the most expensive team on the game. So I'm trying to look at a backdoor way that, you know, not everyone's looking at at the moment. So, you know, no one really in the in the Tottenham side. So on to Roma. So... Roma, thankfully, fully covered team, um, but do have a new manager. I watch a lot of Roma games. I'm kind of a follower of Roma. So looking at this, there's a couple initially that will spring out to me. Mancini is such a good point scorer. I, I was going to get him regardless. Now that he's going into um, the Conference League, you know, almost certainly they've got one game, but you know, they're going to be the highest seeded team. It'd be a huge shock if them, Spurs and Wren didn't get in. But yeah. I'm looking immediately at getting him. He's quite a fair price, I'd say. Um, I'm just focusing on the under 23s right now. But yeah, if you want to go pick him up, I highly advise that. Um, you could stack him with the keeper. They have just got... The problem with that is that they've just got Rui Patricio from Wolves and he's going to be the number one, obviously. He's not on the game yet, so that's the only problem. And the rest of the team does get a bit harder to pick. You've got consistent point scorers like Pellegrini and Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan's a problem because he didn't get on with Mourinho at um, Man United. So I'm at avoiding him. Pellegrini's good, but he did take the place of Zaniolo, I think. And Zaniolo's back now, so, you know, it's a bit up for debate there. Dzeko wanted to leave. You know, someone like Ibanez is quite interesting. He's only 22. I could add him to my team. Um, the only thing I'm concerned was is rotation. Obviously, with a new manager, you really don't know who's going to start. So Romero basically wants to watch. Um, you can... You can Whenever the new cards come out and you've seen a couple of games in the season, that's where I'll be looking to pick up Roma players. And, you know, I'd advise you too. Next, we're on to Stardren. And, well, there's one man that stands out. His name is Jeremy Duku. So he absolutely lit up the Euros for Belgium and, you know, the short games he played. He has the um, national team cards of Belgium, obviously. So they've just stopped, stopped minting those, but they will be minting them again when the international fixtures come out in September. So that could be a great time to get them. I think that'd be last season's cards, just to be aware, but it doesn't really matter. Um, definitely someone I'm looking, uh, would be looking at, but I don't think Rens are as highly rated in kind of Europe. I wouldn't expect them to go as far as Roma um, or Spurs, but, you know, just something to be aware of. And, you know, I'm not here to give you all the information. You can search for things yourself. It's just kind of 
knowing that now that's looking like being covered when in my last video I said I highly doubt it's going to be covered you know now it is being covered you want to look into that as much research as you can and come up with some you know prospects that are going to absolutely smash it because when you're on a limited budget I really like to pick a couple of I want to compete every week every week right every game week but I want a couple of game weeks where I'm tipping myself to win or tip myself to at least have a really good good couple of scores in there so just to confirm, that doesn't mean I think you should go out and buy Dooku. Um, he's obviously getting a transfer away, most likely. He's looking at going at Liverpool or Bayern Munich. Um, so obviously that will reduce the scores. I don't know if you've got the budget where you can sit on a player that good for that long getting low scores. But yeah, I'm just saying when a new league is introduced or extra coverage is introduced, right? Be aware of what teams are going to be in it, what teams are going to have favourable draws. Um, for example, teams that fall out of the Champions League qualifiers will go to Europa League and then if they go from the Europa League into the Conference League that's when I really think there'll be some big um, mismatch teams in there so yeah just be aware of that keep looking um, for information and on to the next piece of information and the next piece of information really got me excited again what it is is they confirmed two new fully onboarded leagues so you know however many leagues are in the <laughs> how many teams are in the league they're all getting in so rare I think that's fantastic news it's the same as we have in the Pro League and you know then it becomes which teams are it going to be and I wanted to know more information for this so I went on to Discord and asked Dan can you clarify is it two new fully onboarded leagues or is it two new leagues from clubs we don't have two new fully onboarded leagues as I just said and then someone dug even deeper and fair play to uh, the June spirit but he said are they already covered on SO5 and Dan said one is one isn't and wow um, the first thing I thought is that surely has to be the uncovered league has to be Ukraine. Why? Because they've already got cards that are minted for that league, but they're not use, usable on SO5. It's a bit suspect for a company. Um, the only thing that drew me back on that is um, Dave or Dave here. Sorry for that. But uh, however you say his name, he's really helpful on the Discord. He said, they, I don't think they have enough coverage for Opta for the Ukrainian leagues at the moment. So that kind of threw me off. And um, what I was looking at doing was buying Antonelli Truven for 412. I was the guy, well, I'm sure loads of other people were doing it, but I was on him. I was considering, I was speaking to my girlfriend about it, like explain the upsides, explain the downsides, do you think it's worth it? I settled on it not being worth it because of that reason. If it wasn't um if it wasn't the Ukrainian league, I know some people on Twitter said they think it's the Australian league, so they have full coverage of basically all the time zones and there's no off season, so you're always playing so rare, which would be brilliant if it was as well. Um, the only thing that I'm upset about is someone seems to have purchased at 499, so even if I did buy that, I probably could have flipped it then, but ugh, look, it's one of those things. Um, sometimes you've got to just make that decision, whether it's right or wrong, and I've made my decision that I don't think I should have got him, so let's see what happens. But what's going to be the other league as well because one of them's already covered and I was listening to Quinny's stream and Quinny said the two opta, fully opta covered leagues that don't have SO5 coverage are the Scottish Premier League and the English Championship. Two absolutely massive leagues and you may be able to tell that I'm a Celtic fan so I got absolutely so excited by this. I was, you know, looking at extra money I can put in the platform like all of the rest of it. I'm just going to go nuts if those guards come out. I'm going to pick out as many as I can because not only is Celtic going to score quite well do I think but they're my team and you know the more I can support them the better really um, but I tried to look and double check that information myself but I couldn't really get a nice page on on the Opta website or on this website where it said um, they didn't have a clean list of all of the leagues they do cover and then at the same time they can you know expand that like they've already doing a league that Opta don't cover from what Dan said on Discord so it's hard to see, but overall, it is a great imp implementation. I think it's coming in in September, so be aware of that if you're going to sell players for it and focus on you know, the leagues after the new season cards are minted. That's not a bad strategy. It's what I'm considering doing. Um, but overall, these AMAs can, can um, produce such good information that you can use to your advantage. So be on them as quickly as possible. You know, think about the implications wider, you know, what teams benefit, what teams lose out. And yeah, I think that's that's all for now. And I hope someone found this interesting. If any of you did like it and you know want more information like this, I'm gonna constantly be putting out videos like this. So please subscribe. Anyway, good luck. Cheers.